All right, so this is how you set up your uh, Gmail to send and receive GoDaddy emails. So you go up here to this icon here in settings and you go to settings, accounts and import, down to check mail from other accounts, start here and add a mail account. Then type in the email address, that is the email address that you want to go to. Um, so this would be the email address, uh, your website, your name, your website.com, um, and where you, where you want to forward it to. So next, import emails from other POP3, say next. So you want the username to be the same as this. So copy, paste, and then type in your password, I will provide that. And then you want to copy the long server name address that I will provide in the email as well. So paste that in there. Make sure this is selected to 995. Select these three. Label incoming, you can change this later. Make sure this is unchecked because you don't want to leave messages on your server. This will free up space on the server so you don't get bogged down. Say so add account. Think now you want to be able to send mail as later before, um, or your 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 address as well. So hit next. Treat as an alias can be checked or unchecked doesn't really matter. I usually keep it checked. Go to next step. Same thing. Paste that big long address in there. It's going to be exactly the same. Your port's going to be 465 this time. Username again is the email address the, with the domain name and your uh, password that I will provide. Same password. And hit add account. Make sure this is connected. SSL recommended. Hit add account. Now you'll get a verify email here and you just type in those numbers and you click verify and you're all good to go. Now this can sometimes take a while but here's the account that's created. Go here and just kind of hit the refresh button until it comes through. Sometimes it takes five minutes, sometimes it takes ten minutes. Um, so just wait patiently for this to come. Oh, there it is. Um, in that case, I think this took me about three minutes. Then you have your number. Select your number, copy it, go back and open up your tab, paste it in there, verify, and there you go. It's all done. Double check. You want to go to settings accounts imports and make sure it's all set up there and then this doesn't say verify it says edit info and all that stuff so your information should look like this and then this bottom information where you're receiving the mail to come in should look like this so give me a call if you have any questions thank you